Um, okay, let's fly into this show. So I'm going to start off with a quote, actually. Uh, this is from Harry Maguire. He said, we've not had the results that we as a club demand. Like I said, I think the season must start now. This win against Bre Brentford must be a turning point for us. As individuals and as a club, we must kick on from here. I'm always ready when I'm playing. I work hard in training and I keep fit every day. And I'm happy that I contributed to the win. Uh, so look, you know, I, I think look, Harry Maguire's not the captain anymore. He's not the captain anymore. Scott McTominay spoke well after the game yesterday and Harry Maguire has spoken well there about the season has to start here. The question is, can the season start from here? Is it as simple as that late winner against Brentford? Because what I would say is that looking back at Man United in the past, and if I look at the Sir Alex Ferguson teams, we didn't actually start the season well every year. I remember numerous years with uh, Sir Alex where we started not the way I would want, i.e. we didn't win every game. And, you know, there might be a turning point game where maybe maybe Oli scores late on or maybe, you know, Rooney scores or Ronaldo, depending what era, era, era it is. Maybe it was Mark Hughes. And you go, well, look, we're Manchester United. It's Sir Alex Ferguson. We know what we are. We know the United way. We know these players. We know the style of play. We've had a bad start to the season. That can be the, that can be the turning point. That can be the spark that gets us back. The problematic thing about yesterday is... It can be the spark. I agree with Harry Maguire. I agree with Ten Hag. It can be the turning point. But it's not like we know what our best 11 is. It's not like we know what how we're going to play. And it's not like we, you know, we're almost uh, painting blind, aren't we? We don't know what the picture is because the light's not been turned on yet. So, look, it needs to be the spark to the fire. I agree. And it can be. But you know what? It has to be as well. Because I'm not talking about Ten Hag being sacked. Um, I've seen some horrific uh, uh, horrific reactions to... I nearly said erections. I've never seen any horrific erections. I've, I've seen some horrific reactions to the um, Man United late winner yesterday. And you saw my reaction. I saw your reaction. It was it was pure glee. You, you know, you, there's no point. There's no point. I, I don't care whether you want Ten Hag to be sacked or not. There's no point in supporting Manchester United if you didn't enjoy that yesterday. I'd go and support somebody else. Because clearly you do. If you can't be happy about that, even for a few seconds, if you you know if you if your heart didn't race and you didn't jump up and get excited about that, then you know I I I, I question what what it is that you actually want. Um, but beyond that, there's not. I don't think Ten Hag's up for sack. I, I think don't think the club want to do that. But what I would say is it's make or break in relation to the season. The league table at the moment doesn't look horrific. It doesn't look great being in 10th place, but it's not horrific. You know, if teams lose in front of us and we keep winning, the gap will close. A lot needs to happen. We'll talk about that. But we can't afford any more. We can't afford any more. Like, I think we've lost we lost four in the Premier League. We lost two in a row in the Champions League. There can't be another slip. There can't be another bad period. You know, it literally has to be, like Maguire says, the start of the season. And the start of the season has to be consistent winning games. Now, again, do you believe Manchester United can do that? Well, let's get into it. I cannot believe that we've been so crap and we're only five points away from Liverpool. We cannot afford another loss in our next games, says Mario Franco. Well, contextually, one of the things that worries me, and I, you've just, you know, this is why I love the community and I love the show, because you've just made me think about something. Um, I don't know how hard, as how, how hard has our start to the season been comparative to um, everybody else. Um, I mean, Liverpool have played Brighton away, Spurs away, um, Newcastle away, Chelsea away. Um, we've played Spurs and Arsenal away. I think that, that we, we haven't actually played as many difficult games as Liverpool. So you can say we're only five points behind them, but we haven't really played the volume of away games that they have. Look... <laughs> I'm going to say a positive, and this is where I sit, and then I'm going to give you an ad devil's advocate point, right? Okay, this could be the start of something for Manchester United. It could be the start of the season, and it has to be the start of the season. And nobody can say that we couldn't come back from the international break, beat Sheffield United, beat Copenhagen, beat Manchester City, get a huge boost of confidence, and then go on a really good run. It's not, it's not beyond the realms of possibility for that to happen, because that's literally what good and bad form is. Maybe Rashford starts scoring. You just don't know whether that's going to happen, and it can happen. And anybody who says that it, it's not going to happen is really just you know negative, because of course it can happen. There's no, there's no way that it can't. 
Our next few fixtures, fixtures are Sheffield United away, uh, then Copenhagen at home, then Man City at home, which helps us. Then we've got Newcastle at home in the Carabao Cup, Fulham away, Copenhagen away, Luton at home, Everton away, Galatasaray away. And, you know, then you're into December where you play Newcastle away. I mean, we could have a really good run. Look at the league fixtures. Sheffield United away, Man City at home, Fulham away, Luton at home, Everton away. They're all winnable. You know, you could win all of those and put yourself in a good situation. Absolutely could do it. Nobody can say that we can't do it. But the devil's advocate in me says, as much as I want that to happen, and I think it can happen, you've got to just prepare yourself for what I'm about to say, because these are the things in my head. And Fahad says, I can't see how it can be a turning point without Eric Ten Hag taking the international break to think through why and where we are and definitely not without changing that starting 11. I think that's a great point from Fahad, by the way. It's absolutely why it's decision time for Ten Hag. And, you know, you see him bubbly and bouncing around after the game yesterday. And my only fear is that he just thinks everything's fine. He has to he has to sit there. A bit like Michael Oliver sat there tonight going, I'm glad Arsenal won because I made two two massive errors. And Ten Hag has to go, I'm glad McTominay saved me because I fucked up big time at the start of the season. And I've got to get it right over the international break. And I think when we analyse that now, you'll see the volume of work that Eric Ten Hag has to do. Cheers cheers for everything you do, says Jake. Uh, never goes unappreciated. Really appreciate that, Jake. Thank you. And welcome. To, uh, thank you for being a member for 10 months, Jeff, by the way. When Harry Maguire says the season starts in now, for Harry Maguire, the season probably does start now. He's been out of the team. I mean, Harry Maguire has played 110 minutes in eight Premier League games. 110 minutes out of what's eight, nine, you know, it's about 720 minutes. He's hardly played at all. For an individual player, your season can start when you get given a chance. Donny van der Beek's season could start in November if he starts get given games and we've got an injury crisis. So from a player's point of view, season starts now. I get it. For Eric Ten Hag, the season does not start against Sheffield United. The season started on July the 10th when we came back for pre-season and we started playing pre-season games. It's now October the 8th. The season started three months ago at the start of July. The season doesn't start now. It doesn't. The season started three months ago. And that's the bottom line. So you can't just go flick a switch and go, the season starts now, everybody, here we go. It's not, it's not, it doesn't work like that. What is the style of play? What is the best 11? And what makes everybody think the season starts now? And those are the questions that Eric Ten Hag has got to look at over the next two weeks. I've watched two games of football today, four teams, all of them above us, Man City, Brighton, Liverpool and Arsenal. All of them across those two games have a defi definitive style of play. Now, I'm not saying that Man City played well. I don't think Liverpool played particularly well. In parts, Brighton played well. Arsenal, I don't think they played particularly well. But they have a defined style of play and they have a defined starting eleven, And we don't have that. So saying the season starts now, that's absolutely fine. And that can be a spark yesterday. And the dressing room will be ignited by that result. But what's the style of play? What's the best eleven? And why is the season starting at the start of October when we started at the start of July? Why are we in this position and what are the things that Ten Hag has got to do to make this be the start of the season? And what he's got to do is, and look, I think a lot of fans at the moment are going, get McTominay in the team, get Maguire in the team, get Ganacho in the team, get Martial in the team, you know, do get Regwell on back. And, you know, all these players are really hard working and that's how we do it. And I go, with all due respect, a starting lineup that's got Martial, McTominay, Regwalon, Maguire, and Ganacho in it is not catching those teams above us. There's too many players in that five who are just vibes. You know, they're not actually top four players, some of them, for different reasons injury, consistency, um, you know, um, whatever. And that's not going to work. And I think people are going, I've seen a lot of people over the, the last sort of 24 hours going, ultimately, it's about those players on the pitch at the end, they get it. It's about what Man United is. It's about going to the end and it's about hard work. And you're right. You're absolutely right. That's why we won the game yesterday. It was because players on that pitch got it, understand it. It's about hard work. You're absolutely right. But hard work and passion stops you getting relegated. It doesn't win your titles without, yes, talent and consistency.